And we're back. Thanks for waiting, everyone. So, let's see what else there is around town. So we've got a circus in town. Well, let's see what if we can uh, bump it to Silvando back here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Just gonna steal your chest here. Oh, rats. Oh, boy. They didn't voice any of that. That's probably for the best. Oh, dear. Uh, Silvando is very, very campy. Wait, there's a like an inn over here, isn't there? And I think a weapon shop that I completely walk right by. Yeah, weapons armor right here. What do you want? Nope. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, the feathered caps would be helpful for two of our characters. Now that's <clears throat> that's a significant boost to her uh, defense. I really don't want to use it for th because I think it. Hold on. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an outfit change. So I'll hold off on that for the moment. Well, the bronze shield is an improvement for the main character. Okay, I do have one feathered cap. Whoops. I do have weapons I can sell. Maybe I should. Let's see. Oh, and armor, too. selection. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Another book. Let's see if it's got a on recipe, okay. Night post, wizard staves, tricky turbans, visible target blouses, and enchantress's gloves. Those are all going to be good for Veronica and Serena. That means I'll be spending more time at the forge. Okay, let's hop back on the plot train and head towards the palace.
or get distracted by something. Oh, it's a random church. Giver. Hey. So I have to kill a specific monster well pepped up, and I don't even know who can do that one. Cool. <clears throat> More barrels. Okay, I'm not a fan of monarchs, but he does have cats. Aw, hi kitty. More cats. <laughs> I was trying to talk to the woman, but... I guess she doesn't have anything to say because she's too enamored of the cats and honestly... I can understand that. will not thrill my beloved subjects. Hmm? And who exactly might you be? I have no time to grant an audience today. You must leave. Immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Ha. Mm, yes, very good. The knight's pledge must always be your guide, my son. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone in this room who isn't the Sultan gets it. You are a man now, Thanks, Elias. Elias. And tomorrow's race shall prove it. You must show your people that you are worthy of their adulation. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. That was a suspicious O. <laughs> what is your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? <laughs> hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the Great Staircase. I shall await you there. 
Oh wait, what's this guy have to say? Darn it, I bought a feathered cap. That feels like a waste. Oh, and a free iron broadsword? Come on, game. Okay, my iron broadsword's better. So, at least there's that. Ah, you came. <laughs> Thank you. That, that, that's mm. personal, Prince Ferris. Yes, yes. Your height and physique are perfect, and you have the face of... One who knows horses. Hey, it was just that one time. Oh, that's not what you meant. Okay. You should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. My father is unlikely to give it away freely to some <laughs> wandering stranger. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. <gasps> but the palace walls have so many unwelcome ears. Uh, ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Sure, why not? Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening. <laughs> Do not be late, please. All right, can I, uh... Oh, yeah. Why don't we just, uh, have a little privacy right here, buddy? Okay, so... Off we go. Now, is it gonna make me, like, advance the time to night so that I can meet the guy, or meet the prince at the circus? Thankfully, they make that easy. <laughs> Indeed. Well, it seems pretty obvious that this is meant to be somewhat Middle Eastern inspired, you know, having a sultan and some of these building designs and all. Gotta note that everybody here is pasty white. It's like, come on. Come on, Enix. You can do better. I mean, I know you won't, but I know you can. <laughs> Yeah, the accents too. I kind of feel that the accents just um, steadily go downhill throughout the course of the game. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before we meet the fantasy Italians. As opposed to space Italians. side and clear this little side quest. Uh, they do not. They just have grating accents. Okay, so we're looking for a rarer version of the cactus monster. I believe they glow gold in the overworld. So that should make it fairly easy uh, to spot them. See, there's some cactus monsters sleeping, but... Unfortunately, none of those seem to be what we're looking for. Oh, cactus balls. <laughs> balls. Our work isn't 
done yet. No, definitely not shiny enough. And finish him. There we go. Veronica wins again. Okay, so it looks... <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like they're going to make this difficult. I was kind of hoping I could just come over and... Uh, slap around some cacti balls and... Uh, get what I came here for. But none of these have that little glimmer. Hmm. Oh, hello. Hey, look at this little guy. Okay, so we have another reason to go to, uh, Moonahan, uh, Altar of the Legendary Line. So I'm guessing that's something in Dragon Quest II, which I'm not familiar with. That's one I'll probably do on stream at some point. Okay. Well, let's see if this merchant has anything of interest. Poison moth knife, poison moth knife could be good, but uh, otherwise, oh, well, those turbans are fairly good for our party. Bunny ears. Okay, so like everything in here is pretty good uh, for our magic users. So let's give this a go. Since they still have mostly the equipment that they spawned with. Okay. Too far. Oh, I need another lamplight, but oof. Expensive, but oh well. Oh, lamplight. Okay, that was the thing I found um, earlier. So that looks like a plus two. I mean, hey, I'll take it. too far on that one. Beautiful. I think that should do the trick. Oh well.
It certainly looks like it can do that. All right, well, we'll make the gloves. Okay, we did all right there. Okay, magical might, so those are for her. And... Yeah, that takes her up to 79. It's not... Amazing, but falls under pretty good. Oh, hold on. Oh, Magical Might isn't relevant for her. She doesn't do any damage spells. saved in a while. Oh, jeez. Good thing I did. Accidents do tend to happen. Oops. Alright, so we're gonna change it to night. Or dusk. And we'll go to the circus. Is there a... I'm gonna say it real slow for you. Gay frogs. Wait a minute. Oh wait, I don't want to go to the Celestial Sands yet. It's a little early. Oh jeez. I got turned around and just started going in the hilariously incorrect direction. Hey, are you any of you guys shiny? Just checking. Nope. Okay, well. You may live this time. <laughs> okay, that emote is something. Alright, let's go check out the circus. Or does it actually have to be night rather than dusk? Okay. I don't think this is the first time I've made this mistake when it comes to the circus. Typical, really. Okay, how do these lights work? I mean, I mean, the uh, answer is almost certainly magic. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Well, where the heck do I go for tickets? Oh. 